this is the third night that we've been up all night shooting the crabs. So these guys are really tired. The crew. I bet the crabs are tired too. This turns out to have been a huge spawn. You know, the first time we came out here to shoot, it never rained. It was the dry season the whole time, which led to a really important part of the story, but it wasn't what we had originally expected, which happens all the time in this kind of filmmaking. But here we are, night three, and there's still crabs. The, the whole island is going off on this spawn. When the rains finally did come, this whole beach has been going. This region of the island has just been flooded with crabs. We have a picture. Beautiful. It is nice how that light is mimicking the, the feel of a moonlight. A bright moon, I might add. What we're trying to get is a close-up of the, the small legs they have inside the, the area where they store the eggs that pushes out the eggs to disperse them into the water. And you'd think with all these crabs, it would be an easy shot to get, but it's actually really tough. You know, we're shooting at night with a lot of light and shadow, and we need the crab at a particular angle to really expose this really cool biological feature. So despite a lot of crabs, it's really hard for Mark to find the perfect crab at the perfect angle with the perfect light. 